Pasteur. Louis Pasteur, the father of Vaccine, was born in Dole, a small town in the east area of France, in 1822. His father was a poor man who earned a living by dealing with leather. Louis spent each day playing in grape fields during his childhood as he lived in Arbois, the center of the wine-producing area. Pears and butterflies were his nice childhood friends. Louis was good at drawing. People asked him to draw their portraits. But his father, who wanted him to study, was concerned for him. Louis decided to move to St. Louis Middle School for the purpose of studying at École Normale Supérieure in Paris after graduation. He pledged himself to study hard in a train that was running on grape fields. But he failed to adjust to school life and returned home. Although he felt helpless, he studied harder and was accepted by École Normale Supérieure with excellent marks in the entrance examination. As a science department student, Louis was interested in conducting experiments according to theories. He once forgot his friend Chapuis waiting for him when he stayed up all night doing some research. As a result, he successfully extracted phosphorus from bone. His enthusiasm didn't cease even after his graduation with honors. After all, Louis became a doctor of science. His father was very glad to hear the news. While working as an assistant instructor at the University of Strasbourg, he married Marie, the university president's daughter. His research continued also at the university. One day, Louis was visited by Bigot, an alcohol manufacturer. Mr. Pasteur, alcohol is decaying, but I don't know the reason at all. Louis started research on alcohol at the request of Bigot. While inspecting alcohol with a microscope, he saw yeast fungus for the first time. I need to understand what yeast fungus does. Louis found that yeast fungus decomposed sugar and changes into carbonic acid gas. Then he discovered how to prevent alcohol from decaying. One day, Louis heard that the wine from Arbois decayed. He applied the method of preventing alcohol from decaying to it and successfully developed a method to prevent wine from decaying. Louis started a full-scale research on microorganisms. I wonder whether microorganisms cause diseases. Having lost three children, he had wanted to conduct research on microorganisms. But medical doctors and scientists didn't believe Louis because people thought that a disease arose inside a human body. They didn't believe that a disease was caused by bacteria infiltrating into a human body. Still, Louis kept his belief and continued his research resolutely. There was a dreadful disease called chicken cholera, and usually 90 out of 100 chickens infected with it died. In accordance with this belief, Louis filtered microorganisms from the blood, 
of dead chickens and multiplied them. He finally discovered bacteria. Several days later, he injected the multiplied bacteria into chickens, but they didn't die. I see that even if bacteria infiltrate into a chicken already once infected with bacteria, it doesn't catch a disease. As Louis discovered vaccine, his research was successful. At that time, anthrax was prevalent in Europe. It was a dreadful disease caught by animals. Louis conducted research on anthrax. He used vaccine to infect some animals with weak bacteria first and then strong ones. Many people watched his experiment and it was a great success. The discovery of vaccine by Lewis was greatly acclaimed by not only the medical world, but also by the people. In recognition of his achievements, France awarded Louis the Legion of Honor, one of France's highest medals. If it isn't applied to humans, it is useless. Louis realized that he had plenty of work to do. One day, Joseph, a child bitten by a dog, came to Louis, who was then conducting researches on rabies. He injected Joseph with a rabies vaccine after thinking about it carefully. The result was a great success. When the news became known, a lot of patients came to Louis. As Pasteur's fame spread widely, funds came from all over the world. A lot of money was collected, and the Pasteur's Research Center was set up in 1888. Although he became weaker, he continued his researches. Pasteur died in September 1895, with his great achievements left behind. He was the founder of modern medicine, who devoted his life to research on microorganisms and vaccine despite his poverty. France held a national funeral for Pasteur and mourned his death.